Good morning, beautiful souls. Happy Monday, Meditation Monday. Tim in the springy woods this morning. And what a beautiful weekend it was. It was the, the equinox weekend was off the charts. It was amazing. And uh, so spring in the spring equinox in the northern hemisphere, autumn equinox in the in the in the southern hemisphere. But what was most significant is that the gateways have opened and the incredible energies that are coming in for the next six months began on this on this gateway, this date, this gateway that's coming in. Now, for those of you that joined us, I, pres I co-presented with my good friend. Polaris AB, Paul de Brio Carey. And this morning I'd like to, for the Meditation Monday, introduce to those of you that haven't come across them, 12 very important decrees or life principles that he has brought through. Now, I work via the law of one, which is grace, intention, manifestation, karma, responsibility, unconditional love you put those all together and you've got the law of one but this is 12 decrees or 12 <clears throat> kind of life principles which I, I i feel are also just as much part of this this fifth dimensional energy this foundation structure the the kind of almost like the the rules or the disciplines or the or the foundational codes that we live by or we agree to live by as human beings on on this planet so they, these these are brought through by polaris ab and they call, he's called them the 12 decrees and i shall include the picture and links to his website in here as well but i love i love this i love structure i like i love discipline i love focus i love intention and and it is very much part of what we do on a daily basis and what we set out to achieve. So wherever you are in the world, I'd just like you to tune in, relax, and allow these 12 decrees, these 12 principles to flow through you and resonate with you. Okay, so these are the 12 decrees by Polaris AB. Number one, all that is rigid shall be shaken. That is, all that is rigid shall be shaken. Number two, all that is in pain shall be relieved. All that is in pain shall be relieved. Number three, all that is in sorrow shall be lifted in joy. All that is in sorrow shall be lifted in joy. Number four, all that is in servitude shall be freed. All that is in servitude shall be freed. Number five, all that is hidden shall be revealed. All that is hidden shall be revealed. Number six, all that is suppressed shall be felt. All that is suppressed shall be felt. Number seven. All that is contained shall be released. All that is contained shall be released. Number eight, all that is separated shall return to unity. All that is separated shall return to unity. Number nine, all that is unspoken shall be heard. 
all that is unspoken shall be heard. Number 10, all that is unseen shall be recognised. All that is unseen shall be recognised. Number 11, all that is form shall seek higher expression. All that is form shall seek higher expression. And number 12, all that is love shall be made manifest. All that is love shall be made manifest. So just allow the energy of those the decrees, those words, those sacred principles to flow through you, okay? Now, as I read through them, you will probably have noticed that the majority of these principles are in effect at the moment. Number one, all that is rigid shall be shaken. Ta-da! What's been going on for the last year or... or particularly since 2012, like the, 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 the rigidity began to be shaken at the start of 2012. And in the last year, the wind is blowing, <laughs> the earth is shaking, every, every, everything is, every, it has to be shaken in order to take higher form. Number two, all that is in pain shall be relieved. This is what we're releasing. We're releasing the pain of millennia in order to move through into this higher frequency. So the relief is here. We are we are going through this process. This is what the this is what grace, this is what miracles are for. This is what all of the work that we are focusing on is actually bringing forth. All that is in sorrow shall be lifted in joy. Yeah, that's an angelic principle if ever I've heard it. All that is in sorrow shall be lifted in joy as we move from the from the lower frequencies into the higher frequencies, that expression of enjoy, that expression of joy will increase within each all of us. Number four, very important at the moment, all that is in servitude shall be freed. We have been in servitude for thousands and thousands of years, 10,000 years to be precise, since the fall of Atlantis. So we are in the process of freeing ourselves, okay? Number five, all that is hidden shall be revealed. Oh yes, it certainly will. Everything that has been hidden for the last 10,000 years is now being shown daylight. <laughs> this is what all the fuss is about. All of these, uh, all of these little secrets coming out in the wash. And is, is this particular one, number six, is one that all of you will be very aware of. All that is suppressed <coughs> shall be felt. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's that, that, that one really struck a chord with me. All that is suppressed, everything that we've locked away in those deep, dark rooms has come to the surface now for all of us to feel, to experience. So, number seven, <clears throat> all that is contained shall be released. Absolutely. Everything is being released at the moment. That's what all the hard work's about. That's what all of the, all of the changes are occurring. <clears throat> as, as we as we release all this energy as we move into this higher form another very important one here although they are all important to me all of them resonate with me number eight all that is separated shall return to unity all coming back together again <clears throat> all that is unspoken shall be heard so we are now tuning in not just with the spoken word but with our third eye with the with the ability to now feel and sense energy at a much higher level. So the, uns the, the unspoken word or the vibrations that are around us, we can, we, can, we can hear these now, we can hear these as well as we can feel them. All that is unseen shall be recognised. So again, this works on that principle, the energies that we cannot, that we could not make sense of before we are now beginning to actually identify with we can we can see these things we can 
we can actually analyze them and bring them through in whatever format that they are presented to us. All that is form shall seek higher expression, meaning all energies, every single energy that that is in creation at the moment is seeking to manifest at its highest level. That's the nature of energy itself, that it wants to seek its higher expression. It has been third dimension created some very unnatural structures energetically like the you know even so much as the human form so all form is now seeking higher expression all right i think that's brilliant and number 12 it, it, this is lovely all that is love shall be made manifest as it should be so everything that is coming through us everything that is coming from the universe through the planet earth is being made manifest in our reality around us so i hope you found those useful this morning i hope you the, the, they they resonate with you as much as they resonate with me and uh paul has got some other amazing i mean this this is just a very small piece of what he's been bringing through but please go and check it out it's uh, it's, it's some wonderful stuff wishing you the most beautiful start to the week and for those of you joining david essery and myself tonight we are going to be thoroughly celebrating the beginning of the Archangel series that we are we are working together with. That David has put so much uh, work into the beautiful visuals and the graphics and the energy coming coming through it. And we tonight we will be celebrating Archangel Shamuel, Archangel of Love, and we will be celebrating Archangel Zadkiel, who is the angel, the angel of invocation, and the and but and and most of you will know him as the keeper of the violet flame so sending you all loads of love see you tonight if you're joining us and if not then i will see you on friday bye for now